early 2000s. Picked his swimming shorts too. Of course, with tigers on them. That's nice. This is Jen. Is subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there, my lovely, lovely sleepy squirrel. I hope that you are all well. In this video, I have a few items that I bought for the kids. Um, my daughter needed new trainers. And there was like, I think, 15% off all of kids' clothes. So I went and I got like a few other things. I thought it would make a nice crinkly slash soft fabric rambly video for you guys. So here we are. These are a pair of black and white trainers that she chose. They're not specifically for She had a very specific style in mind. I actually got her another pair, but not from H&M. It was from, I think, Les Halles des Chaussures or something like that. They were a pair of NASA trainers. They're so cute. They're white with red and blue, like, accents, and then NASA. them yet. They're so cute. <laughs> These ones are pretty cute too. Eight or nine, I think eight. Yeah. I don't think of my feet in British sizes anymore. <laughs> or my clothes. Okay, so these are very cute. <laughs> Look at the back of them. interesting to see my shoe collection because it's pretty small. I have like a few pairs of boots, one pair of trainers, um, one pair of boots that are too small for me but I keep for my daughter because they were like handmade. So hopefully she will fit in them one day. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, so these are just like kick I don't 
don't think I could do a shoe collection video. I'm not one of those people that keeps their shoes like super clean. Like I couldn't tap on the soles of my actual shoes. It would be like, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. <laughs> be like, oh. And I leave scarves. I'm not really like very careful. But new shoes. laces. Like the laces are not flat, flat. They're a bit puffy. I wonder how long they'll last though. They're not gonna last white for a long, long time. I can see that becoming. I didn't finish my sentence there. I can see that becoming a problem. I can see that becoming unwhite. Maybe because it wasn't a good sentence to finish. I can see them discoloring. She will need some new socks to go with her new shoes, which isn't actually that obvious, but she does. Socks disappear from my daughter a lot. So I got this seven pack, kind of pastel-y colored sports socks. They're not like super thick sports socks, but they have that kind of like um, sports stripe at the top and the look of sports socks with like the ridging but they're not super thick we'll see if they last but let's bear that they're not super thick because it's going to be spring with socks she likes either the ones that are completely invisible with their trainer or like ones like these sports ones these ones are pretty good I don't remember the price but it was also with 15% off so. and then I had like a 3 euro off 
thing on my account unless I'm a member. Well, being a member doesn't really mean anything. You're just like, you sign up with your email and you collect your points. And you get like three euros off every now and again. It used to be five euros, but like less often. Now I have like three or four, three euros built up. show you all the stuff I got for my son because of course he needs some stuff for, for spring too. And the last thing I got for my daughter are baggy jeans. Very baggy. Like 90s baggy. It is very much in for the moment. But these ones are quite thin. I feel like they're almost like jaggings but like If I remember correctly, they have like patches of different colored jean. Yeah, it does. It has like um, two different colors. Very slightly different, like a lighter green, a darker gray. And they're very white. Like, look at that. They're like super bright. That'll be alright. Um, won't be too hot for um, for spring. Look at that. The waist is probably the same size as the bottom. Yeah, the hem at the bottom is the same, so if not bigger than the waist. Look at that. Exactly the same size. <laughs> well, um, what size did I? 13 to 14. So she's 12. She's going to be 13 in a few months. And she's a bit of a skinny one, so it might not fit her right away. She can use a little, um, a little, a few stitches there, or like a little safety pin or something. Until she grows into them. And they're very bad. actually in the same room that I am right now because this is my laundry room. My filming room is my laundry room. Because I can stock like beauty stuff and ASMR props and boxes and things that need to be unboxed and stuff and nobody gets bothered by it because it's in the laundry room. But it does mean I am a little squished in. And I'm the only one that does any laundry because nobody else wants to come in here. Okay, these are going to be really cute, I think. So yeah, she has got new socks, some baggy trousers, and some new trainers. I hate these ones, like the, the things that attach between socks. Oh. I'm always scared. usually have scissors with me when I'm doing it though. <laughs> this time I have scissors so I'm not so worried about that. I'm not so worried about that. Mm, that's it. Perfect. These will all go in the wash. These hooks are actually really Let me grab these stuff for my son. I'll 
I'll show you like the more boring -y clothes stuff at the end. But I'll show you these cool alpha glasses he chose first. Um, on the H&M website, they're well, on, in store as well, probably. On the website, these sunglasses for boys are like Spider-Man ones and stuff. And he already has a pair of Spider-Man sunglasses. So he was like, no, I want these ones. My son is actually very, like, into clothes. is very into clothes. It can be like, it can be annoying. <laughs> it can be great and cute and fun, but it can also be quite annoying because when you're like dressing them to go to school or like going anywhere basically, it can be an ordeal because he wants that very specific t-shirt or those shorts. He like has issues with certain fabrics. He doesn't like things to be too tight and all this kind of stuff. Like, same for me. Like, same for most people. But like, at that age, my daughter didn't really care about clothes very much. Like, she was into like princessy dresses and stuff. But, you know, she didn't care what she was wearing to school much. But my son is very into his style these sporty sunnies that he has chosen are going to be so cute. <laughs> He's a cutie. He picked his swimming shorts too. Of course, with tigers on them. Why not? Why not tigers? They have like a whole bunch. It's just like the same shape swimming shorts, but like a whole bunch of different Almost six, but he's pretty tall. So yeah, how cute are those? They're tiny. <laughs> the little, you know. In France, in swimming pools, you're not allowed to wear like swimming shorts, like loose shorts. Men have to wear like speedo style uh, swimwear. Um, it's a health and safety thing, I guess. I want to say it's like to avoid perverts in the pool. I think it's that more likely, but yeah. So even little boys and men and stuff have to wear like tight shorts or speedo type um, swimwear in public pools. Obviously in your garden you can do what you want or at the beach. like as important as you need to wear your um, swimming cap kind of thing. And of course, the obligatory Spider-Man t-shirt. He needs at least one or two Spider-Man t-shirts per season <laughs> or per age. Like when he ages out of um, a t-shirt, like sizes out. Needs a new one. <laughs> and this one is like a very looks like the Spider-Man costume, but it's a t-shirt kind of t-shirt. The last Spider-Man ones he had is like Spider-Man on the front being like, you know, but I like this one. It's cute. It has like the blue side panels and then the t-shirt sleeves. Um, Peter Parker a lot at home, which means he puts his Spider-Man costume on and then he puts normal clothes on top of it and then he pretends to go to school. I'm Aunt May, of course, and he goes off 
to the dining room to go to school and then um, he takes off the clothes that he has on top of it and then he does Spider-Man stuff and then he comes to see me and he pretends like he just went to school and he wasn't fighting crime. It's very cute. <laughs> Sometimes Spider-Man comes to visit Aunt May and he kind of gets a kick out of me not knowing it's him. <laughs> okay, so the last items that we have are these amazingly like cheap-ish um, sets of five pairs of shorts and five t-shirts that match and they're like just cotton lightweight um, outfits and I was just like yeah that's great because you'll have five of each and he can just rotate them around in summer and he's going to be mostly at home or at the park, you know, um, in the garden. It's perfect. And there's a red one. <laughs> so he agreed. Red and blue. Red and blue, red and blue. These are actually the last items I have to show you. So we can have a little look at all the little motifs and stuff. And then I'll let you drift off to sleep. The cozy vibes. Okay, let me remove both from the packaging. And we can have a little look at like each t-shirt with the shorts as we go. Okay, so first we have a little navy cotton t-shirt that goes with oh, a little green thread. There's no green in these. <laughs> different thing. So yeah, and a little navy cotton short. Um, that's just, you know, very easy. It feels even like soft pajamas or something. specifically the same color so you could mix and match like the you know everything together so everything will just be perfectly matched perfectly perfectly matched well obviously these are perfectly matched literally oh the t-shirts a touch darker mm -hmm. like not enough to bother me but still and it not enough to bother me, but also not enough for it to have been on purpose, if you know what I mean. But it is darker. I like the anchors. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, then we have red, which will be his favourite. Zero difference in colours. So zero motif on the red one. The, the navy blue one and then we have a stripey blue and white which is very like beach hot like painted kind of blue and white stripe cute the t-shirt's the same pattern now so yeah I think it's actually like Five pairs of shorts, five t-shirts, they all match. 
much. Like, what else do you need for the summer? Obviously a lot, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think it was like 30 euros for the shorts and 30 euros, like 29 euros. Plus it had 15% off, so I didn't even pay that much. I wonder if it was 25, 24 99 you know? And then the reduction, I can't remember. And they don't have the prices on the tags when you order them online. Strange. I like the sound of the waistband there. Okay, so that. Just a few little essentials for the kids. I don't always um, do a haul with the kids' clothes and stuff because I don't think many people are that interested. <laughs> um, like you either have to have kids of the same age or like um, and have the same shops <laughs> available and stuff like that. But I guess H and M is pretty global. But I think. relaxing, rambly video, even if you don't even have kids and you don't care about clothes. I think that's one of the best things about ASMR, is that it could be anything. Like, it doesn't have to be something you're interested in. In fact, it's sometimes better that you're not interested in it. That way you can just kind of drift off, drift in and out, and just listen. If you want to support this channel in any way, or you would like to give me more time to concentrate on the videos, that would be a great way to support my thing. Okay. So, if you may. You can just pop those clothing and shoes. 